I was six feet tall when I was in seventh grade. Pretty awkward and uh, not super confident in school. I took a home ec class. <laughs> I don't even think they have those anymore. That year I made myself a full length watermelon skirt and uh, everyone in class asked me where I got my skirt. And that was the first time I'd ever gotten positive attention for how I looked. I sort of became fascinated by the world of making things and clothes and my grandmother gave me a sewing machine and a subscription to Vogue. It opened up a whole new world. There was, you know, Issey Miyake and big giant pleats. It was experimental, it was brash, it was crazy. I was in seventh grade, growing up in California, I'd never seen anything other than like dolphin shorts and a rock t-shirt. I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> this is amazing. There's something, the way people put things together and to be able to like have that experience and being able to pull things out and put them together and look at things next to each other, I find really um, like, I don't know, there's something so tactile and really special to me. I think one of the things that I love or I'm probably inspired the most by is the power of transformation and the way that people can reframe their vision of who they are or of somebody else. It's nice seeing someone put something on and look at themselves in the mirror and see themselves differently and hopefully better. A book that totally changed my life was this book, Antonio's Girls. Inside that book were Tina Chow, Grace Jones, women I'd never heard of, Jerry Hall, and they all looked so different. What was interesting or beautiful about them was their personality and their style and their individuality, not the fact that they looked the same. From a very early age, I realized that I was more comfortable when I was surrounded by things that were visually pleasing. And it doesn't have to be neat. It's not about things being perfect. If anything, I think it's the other way around. It's that allowing for that sort of mess of things. Cy Twombly is one of my favorite painters, and what I like about it is it's so beautiful, and yet it's so messy. The beauty in the mess is, to me, the best part.